outcasts oppressing us as they are on their way. Neil deGrasse Tyson yells out, certifying the most bewildering and lamentable revelation made by the Voyager in the past ten years, a revelation that specialists were not the smallest bit prepared for. Since the Voyager sent back this disturbing data from space, the scholarly community has been unable to rest, and everyone is walking under a strained environment. Examiners, specialists, and engineers have been hurried from their stations to confront these puzzling objects that the Voyager has recently spotted. We don't have even the remotest clue where these odd items are coming from or where they are going. Anyway, what we can't deny is that we have seen nothing like them before. What are these puzzling things that were recently found by Voyager 1? Join us today as we take apart these answers in Neil deGrasse Tyson's Voyager 1, which has identified 500 dark objects passing by in space. For almost 50 years, Voyager 1 has been cruising through the streets of space, researching the profound realms that ground-based telescopes have been restricted from seeing and uncovering disclosures that leave our mouths wide open in shock. A consequence of genius characters that stream in floods at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, Voyager 1 has been the brilliant core to the obscure district of intergalactic space. This engineering masterpiece has opened our eyes to the amazing marvels that exist in our universe. In another advancement, Neil deGrasse Tyson has confirmed that Voyager has recognized 500 dark objects drifting serenely in space. This news came as a shock to standard specialists, shaking them as everyone started poring over the information received from Voyager 1. Something surprising was brewing not too far off, and it was hard to settle this permeating riddle that had perplexed even the best of analysts. Since Neil deGrasse Tyson attested this exposure, unique understandings have been flying in the air, attempting to draw an unmistakable picture that makes sense of the mystery, expecting it had been another space contraption that sent the kind of bewildering data that was recently sent from space. Scientists could have scrutinized the authenticity of the information. Anyway, it is Voyager 1 we are talking about here, the space probe that has been cruising through the roadways of space for almost 50 years now and has outperformed our expectations. Like a patient who beats sickness, Voyager 1 has surpassed analysts' extended future of three years to spend more than 45 years in space, uncovering history-making disclosures all the while. The most enchanting part about this outstanding story is that Voyager is making this story out of surviving affliction from an astoundingly far distance from Earth. The last time scientists checked, they saw that the space probe was 14.5 billion miles away from our planet, rushing perpetually in space with no sign that it would slow down its speed any time in the close future. Experts say that the space probe has been going at a rate of 18,000 miles per hour, which is 10 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun every year. This is one pill that scientists have found a little difficult to accept, on the grounds that typically, one would have expected the space probe's speed to have declined fundamentally, given the lifespan of its excursion in space. On a more intense look, it appears Voyager 1 will undoubtedly be the exception with respect to this story, and it has shown evidence of this again with its latest disclosures. It was just like each and every day for analysts when Voyager 1 hammered stimulating news on their faces, one that would stick in their recollections for quite a while. Voyager 1 had coincidentally found some baffling things passing by in space. This revelation was unconstrained, which explains the initial disarray of cosmologists when they investigated information showing that around 500 dark objects had appeared from nowhere. Momentarily, we had scarcely any knowledge into the presence of these objects, and the next second, we had specialists breaking their brains in search of an answer to this puzzle that nature had dropped in their laps. Scientists were in a fix, and the shortcoming could be traced to only a solitary responsible party, Voyager 1. Unexpectedly, Specialists also knew that the response to unraveling this mystery lay on the heavy shoulders of the space probe. At first, when news of this disclosure broke out, a couple of specialists considered the possibility that it may have been a mistake. They felt that the hour of Voyager 1 could initially be tracking down it, and thus it very well could send wrong data back to us. Expecting we decide to walk down the spreading out way, it appears like a plausible explanation, Given the truth that Voyager 1 was shipped off as far back as 1977, almost 50 long stretches of active service for the advantage of humanity. One can guess that the space contraption's computers would have become exhausted and started to fail, contracting in their obligations and sending back low-quality information to the ground team. As engaging as this record sounds, scientists have prompted that we shouldn't stop there. 
since it would be a slap on the conciliatory soul of the Voyager not to endure the savagery and flighty chaos of space. Voyager 1 has consistently produced enlightening data about our universe in defiance of the rushed suppositions of skeptics. The space probe has maintained its long life due to its dual redundant computer systems. Like its twin Voyager 2, Voyager 1 came equipped with two sets of command subsystems, Flight Data Systems, FDS, and Attitude and Articulation Control Systems, AACS. This has been the secret power behind the strong fighting spirit regarding exploring through space and uncovering disclosures. The obvious overt redundancy made way for reliable changes among systems and the capacity to activate dormant computer parts, thus saving their longevity. While planning Voyager 1, the engineers back on Earth created an arrangement to help the space probe enhance efficiency. This meant that the probe's instruments would have to rely upon engineered logic. They were taking no chances. When it came to this area, since they were obliged by time and power budget constraints, the electrical engineers concluded the instruments would need to be developed using streamlined systems that depended on hardware logic. Therefore, Voyager's computer systems involved six onboard computers coordinated as a distributed system with three dual redundant pairs. Having overcome this hurdle, specialists needed to tackle the next tall block veneer in their way, which was maintaining the systems. This overwhelming test was defeated by concocting a consistent power management plan. Here's where it gets a bit fascinating. Power management involved supporting the functional capabilities of Voyager's computer systems. Assuming we are being clear, this is a daunting task to manage given the limited power resources available on board the space probe. It was a case of sending a tracker into the deep wilderness to pursue wild animals with just a handful of instruments. Scientists found a method for getting around this issue by formulating measures to moderate and streamline power use on board the Voyager. A genuine illustration of these power management measures that designers conceived is the specific shutting down of unnecessary systems. Experts were compelled into making this hard choice. Thus, they utilized a systematic approach to identify and deactivate parts or subsystems that were not critical for the space probe's main mission objectives. We see evidence of this when we take a brief look at radiators associated with specific instruments that had to be switched off. These radiators were initially intended to keep the instruments at specific temperatures so they would work optimally. However, the story was updated as shutting them down altogether reduced power consumption on board the Voyager. This decrease in the space probe's power consumption comes with a rising effect, an extension of the Voyager's life expectancy. This is a mutually beneficial plan for everyone. However, we should remember that this decision to shut down insignificant systems isn't made lightly. It is a calculated move that requires careful evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific goals of the space probe. Whenever such a decision was taken, all hands had to be on deck. Scientists and analysts needed to sit together and assess the impact of deactivating specific systems on the quality and availability of scientific data. Sentiments weren't influencing all that here. It depended on the facts at hand. The team was driven by the desire to optimize power efficiency, while maintaining the essential functionality of the spacecraft, so it could continue to gather vital data about our universe. Unfazed, specialists and scientists alike believed that nothing ought to foil Voyager's way when it came to uncovering the profound secrets locked away in the mysterious domains of space. Mysteries that the universe has been holding back from us for a seriously prolonged stretch of time. However, Explicit power reduction isn't the only way that NASA specialists are keeping Voyager 1 operational and working optimally in space. They had another distinct advantage up their sleeves, which they intended to bring to the table to help the spacecraft and specialists. The engineers needed to come up with power management strategies that are adjusted to the ever-changing states of the probe's environment. For instance, as Voyager 1 journeys farther away from the sun, the available solar energy experiences a plunge. We would agree that this is an issue. However, the designers came prepared as they compensated for this by ensuring that the spacecraft adjusted its power usage accordingly. This versatile approach is a triumph on the part of NASA engineers and scientists, as it ensures that the available power resources are efficiently allocated to support the probe's critical tasks and data transmission back to Earth. Interestingly, the uplifting news doesn't end here. 
as there have been continuous technical advancements and upgrades in power management that have allowed specialists to refine and further develop the power systems of the spacecraft over the years. A close look at these upgrades would reveal that they include more effective power distribution, further improved battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. The implementation of well-thought-out and arranged power management techniques has opened an intriguing door for engineers. It has made it possible for specialists to extend the operational life expectancy of the Voyager 1 spacecraft alongside its twin Voyager 2. This is a significant triumph for the scholarly community and the world at large. The careful allocation and management of power resources have outfitted Voyager 1 with the essential strength needed to explore the depths of the universe. The discovery resonated through the halls of scientific inquiry with seismic power. Neil deGrasse Tyson's critical announcement resounded across the globe, blending ten years of careful examination by Voyager 1 in the midst of the vast region of interstellar space. The rocket had unintentionally tracked down a peculiarity of critical significance. 500 puzzling components, their origins and reasons shrouded in immense mystery. Getting unobtrusively through the void, this unforeseen experience touched off a chaotic situation of activity inside established specialists, where restless evenings turned into the norm and strain hung heavily in the air as investigators, engineers, and researchers scrambled to unravel the ramifications of Voyager's revelation, resisting a reality where the known regulations of physics seemed to falter. Voyager 1, a badge of human creativity and determination, had shocked everybody, cruising long past its projected life expectancy to become a beacon of exploration in the depths of space. Its instruments, carefully designed to withstand the rigors of space travel, now sent data that challenged conventional understanding. As the rocket continued its solitary journey through strange realms, it carried with it the hopes and fears of those bound to Earth. Each data transmission, each signal received, illuminated new aspects of the universe's complexity, challenging assumptions and inviting humanity to reevaluate its place within the cosmos. In the aftermath of Voyager 1's unsettling revelation, speculations flourished and conversations raged within scholarly circles. Was this an encounter with extraterrestrial intelligence, or perhaps a glimpse into previously unnoticed phenomena of monumental proportions? The unanswered questions fueled a resolute quest for knowledge as scientists analyzed data streams and examined telemetry reports for elusive signs. Amid the uncertainty, one truth remained unquestionable. Voyager 1 had forever changed our understanding of the universe, pushing the limits of exploration and inspiring generations to continue the quest for knowledge beyond the stars. Neil deGrasse Tyson's critical voice resonated through the academic community, a harbinger of problematic news. Voyager 1 had unintentionally tracked down a question in deep space. 500 dark substances discreetly drifted through the quantifiable void, testing every known paradigm. Free for all seas scientists and engineers alike, initiating them into action. These bizarre things, dissimilar to anything experienced before, defined Voyager 1, our valiant traveler. Crossing almost 50 years in space, it continued its journey, stretching boundaries and revising the rules of interstellar exploration. As scientists grappled with the implications, it was clear that Voyager 1's legacy as a sentinel of the universe was far from over. Its disclosures continued to amaze and confound in equal measure.